the effect, Mr. Fitch. My superiors have grown tired and have tasked me with finding and unmasking this man who has caused the CIA so much frustration, whose very purpose, it seems, is to destroy anyone in his sphere of influence. I choose you, Mr. Fitch, to track him down. I was not expecting this. When I was called up to Mr. Freeth's office, I thought he wanted me to pull up some files on the new recruits. That's what I usually do. No, no, I am a CIA agent. I was recruited right out of high school, but I've been doing clerical stuff. I haven't gotten into espionage, surveillance, or even combat training. Although I know a few moves, you know, a punch here, a karate chop there. I've seen a lot of movies. But I was surprised to be given a track down assignment, one that was this important. So I had to ask him, Mr. Freeth, I'm honored by your confidence in me, but aren't there more experienced agents up for the job? Well, the more experienced agents, as you put it, have all failed. I've decided a fresh perspective is called for, an agent who hasn't seen it all, someone who can bring new and light to the table, someone like you. Don't tell me you're not up for the job. No, no, are you kidding? I've been champing at the bit. I was told you were an eager one. Your first name is Hercules, after all. Zeus is son by a mortal woman, if I recall my mythology. It's a name that summons up heroics, valor, and great deeds. Your parents must have had very good expectations of you, Mr. Fitch. We've, uh, we've never had that conversation before. Fulfill the promise to your name, Hercules Fitch. Honor it, and discover Mr. X's identity. You have my full commitment, Mr. Free. Good. Find a woman named Miss Chang. She's a former operative for the other side, and we believe she had a connection with X. She's your best plea. Ms. Chang. Thank you, sir. So, suddenly I'm an agent. A real agent. <laughs> I tracked down all I could on this Chang character, and finally tracked her down to a hilltop retreat on the far side of the city. I didn't call to make an appointment. CIA guys don't do that. Security on the house was strangely minimal, not even a fence. As I crept inside, I wondered if this was the right place. My question was soon answered. <clears throat> Welcome, Mr. Fitch. You've been expected. How do you know me? Chang see all, Chang know all. You are Chang? I Chang. Brenda Chang. <laughs> Brenda Chang. All right, Brenda. If you see all, then you know what I'm here for. Foolish words, Mr. Hercules. I expect nothing less from a canary than to the work of a hawk. I don't do birds, Chang. Let's talk Mr. X. You see, Alicia, our innocent friend has not yet learned the virtues of patience. Patience is a piece of marinated meat served unhurried and savory. She refers to my prowess in the kitchen. Culinary skills are among my finest talents. <sighs> I didn't come for dinner, Chang. Stop stalling. Ah, Mr. Hercules is yummy for food. Such courage. But if a kitten wishes to grow up to be a tiger, it is best he is born with stripes. Enough with the animals. I'd about had it with these two. Their acts were almost as phony as their accents. I mean, how many natively Chinese Brendas and Alicias are there? I will tell you what you want to know, but first, you must prove yourself worthy. Prove you have the understanding of patience, and I will give you what you desire. <sighs> what do I have to do? There is a cave 40 miles to the east where the coyote broods and the lizard waits. More animals. In this cave, you will be tested, but it will not be your greatest test. Luck alone will not help you, my young secret. Oh my 
CIA agents are trained to expect the unexpected, the confusing, the strange. Now I knew they weren't kidding. My next objective was to head for the cave. But I had other business to attend to first. My laces are all messed. Untangle it for me. Hey, 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 don't yank at them. They won't tangle if you don't yank at them. Come on, Margo, let's go. You're going to be late. Hey, Mom always puts on more peanut butter. And where's the jelly? Mom puts on grape jelly. Yeah? Well, Mom's been at work for two hours already. So you'll take what you get and be happy. You know what? I don't need you yelling at me every morning, okay? I'm ready when I'm ready. Yeah? Well, you're not ready yet. Go change that shirt. You know Mom won't let you wear that stuff. I'll pick you up at 3 o'clock sharp today, Stephen. And you at 3.15. Lindy Sneedon's older sister is picking us up. We're going shopping. Did Mom give you money? I know I didn't. I have my own money. From where? You can't just be spending money. This house runs on a tight budget now. I don't answer to you. Get off my back. Correction. Whether you like it or not, and I'll tell you, I don't. So we're in agreement on that point. You do answer to me when Mom's not here. Well, Mom said I could go, all right. Does that make it all better? I don't like you hanging out with Lindy Sneedon. I don't trust you. Or her sister. All right, roll your eyes, but I don't like that attitude. Don't you have other friends you can hang out with? Yeah, I got lots of other friends, and I'll write a complete report on every one of them. Lindy Sneedon smells funny. Who asked you? Change the shirt, Margo! And wipe that crap off your face! We're gonna be late. Did I mention I have a little brother and sister? <laughs> uh, well, I got them to school. Then headed east in search of a waiting lizard and a brooding coyote. Good luck, right? But way down a dusty side road, there was this abandoned ramshack old building. The faded paint on the side read the brooding coyote. Near it was a rock formation, a lizard with its nose pointing towards a hillside. I grabbed my flashlight and made my way over to the gap in the rocks. a large square cut boulder. There was some kind of a door, and on, ahead of it, on the floor, were foot square slates, each, in, each inscribed with the letter of the alphabet. I had found my test. Now, just take it easy, and maybe you'll walk out of this cave. Who are you? Let's try that the other way around. The name's Fitch. Look, we don't have to do it like this. I came alone. You armed? You're looking at it. Listen up, Fitch. I don't give second chances. Well, you're a nice drink of good looking, aren't you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, Is this where you come for the date? Just give me your story while I'm willing to hear it. Look, I don't think I need to say any more to someone who I don't know in a cave. I know she doesn't know. I don't know how you found your way here, but all things being equal, I was here first. So why not turn around, forget you stumbled across this forgettable cave, and we'll call it square. You know, despite her attitude, I was having a hard time disliking her. She had spirit. I'll go if you want, but I've got a feeling you'd rather get past that boulder and claim your prize, which you'd already have done if you could. I don't do partnerships. Not suggesting one. Like I said, I only want one thing. I open it up, and you get everything else. What do you make of that? The means of entry holds water. The means of entry holds water. Have you tried stepping on the letters to spell water? In 20 languages. Hey, uh, what's that? You got a knife? I'm not giving it to you. Hey, just, just come here. Dig that out for me. 
looks like uh, like a metal bolt fitting. These are used on ships, so uh, or they used to be. Right, this is just where I dock a boat. There are initials on it. A-S-K. I've got an idea. I'll be back. If I get it open, Fitch, I'm not waiting for you. I know. And uh, the name's Hercules. Nicole, before you go, one more thing. What? <laughs> what was that for? I wanted it. All right. So James Bond would have gotten more. But I'm not used to women throwing themselves at me. I think that comes later in the training. Back at HQ, I pulled up some files on naval personnel over the last 50 years with the initials ASK. And I got a match. Captain Adam Smith Kaplan, currently serving on the USS Eagle. But he had to wait. No! You are not going to your room. Sit down. What'd you tell the police? I didn't tell them anything, hotshot. Cut the attitude, Margo. This isn't stupid fun with your friends. Shoplifting is serious. This salad doesn't look too good. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. Happy? Margo, listen to yourself. What world are you living in? You're not my father. You're not anything. Why don't you just go back to your stupid job selling tires and just being the incredible loser you are? That's something you're totally in charge of. Margo, I don't care about having your respect or even friendship. But unfortunately, I am your authority right now. You can't just blow me off. Watch me. <laughs> Sit down! You are in trouble now, Margo. That means this family is in trouble, no matter how hard you try not to be a part of it. Maybe you don't care that you've just earned yourself a juvenile police record. But take a second and think how a mother will take the news. You bail is what she earned this month plus half of what I did. You can take it out of my allowance. Is loud sound the only thing that'll get through your thick skull to your pea brain? This salad isn't good. I'll save it. You need to get smart and quick. You want to play victim? Fine, but grit your teeth for three more years until you graduate. Or go through juvenile hall, or wherever you are first. It'll be rotten to see you ruin your life, but it'll be your problem then. But right now, whether you like it or not, we are a family and responsible for each other. When you see mom, you look her dead in the eyes. What you see is the look of someone who knows they've failed completely. That'll be harder to toss off. You should know it. You see it every time you look in the mirror. <gasps> There's sand in the lettuce. You want to go for pizza? Yeah! Things aren't, um, great at home. Oh, my family doesn't know I'm in the CIA. The CIA suggests we keep a low profile. Yeah. The tire sales? Great cover-up. Anyways, after I got Steven pizza, I dashed to the naval base on the coast. Waiting for you to discover the necessary coordinates. Nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, must stop you from finding these coordinates. Do I make myself clear? And yeah, Captain! Don't work. Captain! Captain Adam Smith Kaplan? Okay, sailor, can't you see what a life or death race against the clock? I'm not a sailor, sir. I'm in the CIA, and I'm in a race myself. 
Do you recognize this? Sorry, good. To a word of the next conversation. Do you read me? Ah! Back to work. Alright. Who else knows about this on the cave? No one. Alright. I had to lie. CIA agents have to lie sometimes. If I had mentioned Nicole, I could have sunk my whole mission. I felt that safekeeping vault in my younger days when I was a pirate. I'm not going to explain how, but the few who knew about it, they're all dead. <sighs> Ms. Chang? Yeah, she sent me them, and only for information. Chang? Yeah. The woman who saved my pet parrot? What? Did I ever tell you how to pet parrot me, Mr. Truffles? Ah, uh, no. Well, word of advice, Fitch. Get yourself a parrot. Not as pretty as a woman, but less chatty. No. Okay. For Chai, I'm going to help you. But you have to do something for me first. We have to locate an underwater lab. All we know about this lab is that it has something to do with the Battle of Hastings. We have to find it and destroy it. The sailors here are working on it. But between you and me, well, they're lily livered. Like children need a wee spanking. Oh, I know the type. There is one man who does know how to help us, or how to help you find those coordinates. Tom Apple, the double agent who actually helped build Hastings. Tell you what, Fitch, you get the coordinates from him, and I'll tell you how to get past that boulder. Captain? Have you cracked it? Make sure she use the bathroom, sir. Shiver me timbers! This was getting ridiculous. I was getting farther and farther away from my goal with each step. Was this going to be my life, just treading water? I mean, people's lives were at stake here. I researched all I could about Tom Apple, and I found out two things. One, that he had recently gone missing, and two, that he had a sweet spot for the ladies. The second one was the one that interested me because several men with the same interests had recently disappeared. I put two and two together and came up with the Plesco sisters. a marginally talented song and dance duo that had recently done a club act through Eastern Europe. When their act dried up, they got involved in the white slavery trade. Male white slavery. Unexpecting males out for a night in the town found themselves being shipped off to foreign destinations. I thought this was as good as a shot as any to find Apple. I finally tracked him down to the Plesco Lair, the basement of a nightclub downtown. Hey, hey you, get me out of here. I'm, uh, I'm looking for Tom Apple. I'm CIA. That's me, for Pete's sake. Get me out of here before those crazy sisters come back. How about you tell me the coordinates to Hastings Underwater Lab and I'll get you out. Get me out and I'll tell you. Uh, I figured that would happen. One minute we were having a few laughs and the next plates are breaking over my head and I'm earmarked for a one-way trip to a Colombian tin baroness. She's paying three million dollars for me. You're kidding. Yeah, I'm worth at least five million. <laughs> <sighs> Hurry up, CIA. Didn't you bring any tools? Tools? Um, yes. It had occurred to me that I was woefully unprepared for this assignment. Note to self. Next time you see the boss, ask him what he was planning on sending me. Then Princess Zodaman better order some pork chops and have a picnic. Your business is officially closed, ladies. 
I advise you to open this cage before things get ugly. Oh, I love threats, and I'm a screamer. Threaten me, baby. Threaten me good. Ladies, ladies, I have had one rotten week. I am in no mood for the Eastern European nightclub battle. Thank you! Getting the tooth. Forget it, I'm not going there. Wrong answer. In 22 hours, your boy Apple is heading south of the border, with or without punishment. Got to Tiro. So, I guess I was getting the tooth. 22 hours, not a moment to spare, but I had other stuff to do first. Mum and I will have to personally get you to the community hall for the next 10 days, or you'll be in front of the judge. I haven't told Mum yet. I'll have to take off work to do it, I guess. The pay I'm docked will have to come up out of a food budget. Hope you like pasta. It wasn't my fault. The bus was late, I told them. Margo, Margo, they're not interested. You're either there or you're not. That's the real world. Notes from home, they don't matter. I'm not trying to hurt the family. I believe you, but as long as your actions hurt us, your intentions don't matter. You're sounding like a father. I have no choice. I'm sorry. I wanted a present. I told Dad I wanted a bracelet. He always told me he'd get me a beautiful one. I just I wanted something from him, so I just took one. Sorry. How am I supposed to handle that? What am I supposed to say to her? She's really hurting. But there's something I can do. I have 22 hours. 22 hours to get a pearl, to save a guy, to get the coordinates, to open the boulder, to show my patience, to find the cat that got the mouse, that got the cheese, that lived in the house, that Jack... Ah... Uh, to get a lead to find Mr. X. I didn't even started that assignment. I drove to the cave, picked my way across a razor sharp stone field. Ouch. Then I swam the toxic swamp. <coughs> Foul. Then I climbed this sheer rock face. Ouch again. And finally, I made it to the top, exhausted like I didn't know what was possible. Ahead of me, there was a house. I could see a light inside, even though it was three in the morning. I crept to the door. I entered. This was it. Do or die. My entire mission balancing on the head of a pin. Okay, you. I know you're some kind of elite killer. 
and I know that I've came woefully unprepared for this assignment. Maybe if I had more time, I could have brought some backup. But, but, but I've been sidetracked. Family stuff has come up, and, and sorry, that's beside the point. The point is, I have a job, a very complicated, frustrating job, and I need your help. And also, if I could walk out of here with my life, that'd be great. My question to you is how can we make all of this happen? You look terrible. Do you want something? Yeah, uh, I want the moose's tooth pearl. Actually, I was offering a beverage, but sure, reach down here, third shelf. My name's Darcy, by the way. Do you want me to reach it for you? This is some kind of a trap, right? <laughs> You're not just gonna give it to me. I'll be off guard and you'll attack me. But you'll bargain me to do something for you, right? Didn't catch the name. Hercules. Hercules. Don't tell me everybody wants a piece of you. No matter what you do, it's never enough. Boy, do I know that tune. What do you think I live up here for? Listen, you made it this far. That's good enough for me. And here's a few bucks. Get yourself a sandwich. Thank you. No, really. Thank you so much. Not at all. Oh, and take the back way out. There are stairs that go all the way down. You'll find a little boat there to get you across the swamp and those sharp stones. You park by the Grove of Oaks. Yeah. Yeah, it takes you right there. Are you okay? Do you need a hug? What? What? No, no. Somebody looks like they need a hug. Well, <laughs> I mean, yes. But, 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 no, no, no. Hey, uh, you're some kind of elite killer, eh? Oh, yeah. I know my reputation, but it's a pain in the neck to live up to. Listen, don't be a stranger. You got a night? Come on up. We'll get some takeout, chill, whatever. When you least expect it, huh? Anyways, I walked down the stairs, got into the boat, got into my car, and back to the Plescu sisters. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, melt, upgrade it, charge it, find it, do it, it. I got the tooth! Open the cage! What the fuck is the cage? Longitude and latitude, the Battle of Hastings, 1066. How do I not know that date? I love history. I dashed to the naval base on the coast. Captain, the courts are 1066. Stop. Good work, boys. Captain, the coordinates in 1066. Yes, I know. All right, prepare to die. What? Oh, right. So the code to get into the cave, it's H2O, literally. Of course, the chemical notion. Thank you, Captain. What? I promise I won't steal anything. Pitch, you won't get a chance. Arr! Of course the cave was a trap. Even I knew. Hey, Nicole, I got the code. H2O. Literally. H2O. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O! Nice. Hey, hey, Nicole, don't touch anything. Are you kidding, Hotshot? Nicole!
conquering hero has returned. And what do you have to tell me? Patience is only as valuable to the thing which one waits. Alicia sang that to me before I left. If I had studied Chinese better, I could have figured it out. I think it is time for you to pay up, Ms. Chang, the identity of X. But first, this experience, what have you gained from it? Gained? You want an honest answer? I thought I'd love my mission, but I feel like I've been treading water just to keep from drowning. No better than my life at home. And who can you think of that would see to it you were sent on this kind of errand? I believe I have told you everything. Oh yeah, and you know what? You're not really Chinese, you just like the clothes. So, I guess it was time to report back to the boss. Mission accomplished, sir. I have found the identity of Mr. X. You were right with your description of him. Conceiving, choking the life out of everyone in his sphere of influence. So tell me, why have you become this person? Well done, Mr. Fitch. I stand before you unmasked. Yes, you do. If I was more on my game, I could have figured it out right away. Freeth. Of course, Mr. X would have an assumed name that he, you, gave him. Right, father? I expect you have brains. Glad to see you're finally using them. Just tell me what was the point of all this wild goose chase. Was I supposed to achieve some zen? Just supposed to find out that the journey was better than the destination? Zen, do I look like someone who enjoys warm, fuzzy messages? This is my job. No more, no less. You know, you're lucky to have some early experience with frustration. Victimized by my own father? That's experience? We named you Hercules for one reason. It's a name that summons up heroics, valor, and great deeds. The great deed isn't what you always expect or even desire. So live up to your name, son. What's going on when you be getting cold? Uh, work. Work ran a little late. Did Molly go get back from the community service? Anne went to sleep without her supper. Her choice. I'm sorry, Mom. I've tried so hard to get through to her, but I can't. She's even tried to get through to me, but I don't know what to say. You have nothing to apologize for. Yes, her responsibilities have changed. No one's aware of that more than I, but I don't expect you to reach her. You can't be your father. That's something else. He's just not here anymore. You should be in college. I know you hate that you're not. You should be studying astronomy and chemistry and what's up? What language was it? Chinese. Yes, Chinese. I'd love to hear you speaking that. He, you know, you don't know how much I want to say go out and do it. Quit your job, go to college, start your life. I've, hoping, I've been hoping for a race so I could, but... Mom, Mom, don't say that. I'm lucky to have a job right out of high school. Your boss is the lucky one. Wayne told me since you've been working there, tire sales have been up 20%. <laughs> well, you know, that's me. Heroics. Hey, I got something that might bring in like a little extra cash. Yeah. It's called the Moose's Tooth Pearl. It's supposed to be worth a lot of money. It's a hard boiled egg. Yeah. Too bad. Thank you, Hercules. It won't be like this forever. Keep looking forward, keep the dream, and you'll get there. I do. I will. Where is the